everybody. I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and mom's on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. And today we are making domas. It's also called domades. And this is Greek um, sort of food. It's a nice entree or you can use it for appetizer. Mm -hmm. And they're stuffed grape leaves. And what you use is you can use beef or you can use lamb. Okay. and some rice. So in my rice cooker I have a nice batch of rice going. You're probably going to need a couple cups of rice. I'm thinking I'm going to use about 40 grape leaves and I have already gone outside and picked our own fresh mm -hmm. new um, new growth grape leaves. Uh, you can use pickled ones if you want to. You can purchase them at the store but I always use fresh because we have them. We just, right. We've got grapes. So um, on my stove top, I have a large frying pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil. Just coat the bottom of your pan. And I have one pound of lean ground beef that we're using beef tonight. So throw that in your pan. We're going to brown it up completely. So let's season that meat up a little bit in the pan. I'm going to use some uh, ground pepper, freshly ground pepper right now. And we like things just a little bit spicy, so I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper, just a dash or two. You could um, put chili flakes in if you wanted to. Also, if you wanted to use onions and garlic, now's the time to do it. Go ahead and chop up some onions and caramelize them up. Mm -hmm. um, then you're going to take them out of the pan and do your ground beef and then mix everything together. But we don't always use onion and garlic. I know it sounds crazy, but not everyone enjoys it here. So why would I cook with it for people to not enjoy? So <laughs> I love it, but yeah. If you want to use it, now would be the time to do it. So just break that up and get it all nice and browned up. And my rice is ready. I'm going to take it out of the rice cooker so it can kind of cool and I can touch it because we're going to be rolling these by hand and you don't want to use hot, hot rice. <laughs> so put it in your, in your bowl that you're going to combine the meat and everything with and just kind of let it cool for a little bit. It doesn't matter if the rice is a little sticky. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It's easier to work with. Now I tend to use an Asian rice just because I like the chew of these kernels better and they don't go mushy. They tend to stay nice and firm. So I just have a couple cups worth and I'm just letting that kind of cool off. Now I boiled that with salt, with butter, with some chili flakes and a bay leaf and two lemon wedges so that we can kind of get the citrusy herb um, feel going. Also I'm using a really delicious spice rub tonight um, that can double as a seasoning. Now this is Napa Jack's Citrus Herb Rub. If you have not tried this or seen me use it, please check out my review on it. It is delicious. We it's use it great. We use it on so many things yes. and it's going to go perfectly with the flavor profile we're looking for tonight. Let me just read you a couple of the things that they say on here. Garlic spices, chili pepper, onion, orange peel, parsley and paprika. So very basic, but a nice foundation of flavor as well. So I'm going to actually season that up right now, just kind of sprinkle some on. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of that. It smells lovely. It too. does smell lovely, doesn't it? You want to make sure that your rice and your beef mixture or meat mixture is nice and flavorful because that's what's going to carry the whole entire yeah, dish. It's going to flavor the entire grape leaf. That's the only place you're using the spice. That's exactly right. Now I've got some of our own um, dried dill that we've dried ourselves from our fresh stuff and I'm just going to kind of break that up in here. I'm going to say we're going to use at least a tablespoon's mm -hmm. worth. Yes, everybody doesn't use dill, but we love it. We, we love, love dill. dill. We love dill. Well, you know why? Because we're Eastern European in descent, and we like to make cabbage rolls a lot. All kinds of cabbage rolls. I like rolls. dill in almost everything that <laughs> I could. Yeah, that's well, my favorite herb, I think. And dill goes so nicely with citrus, so mm -hmm. this is a really good place to, to add it. Now when you're using fresh grape leaves, you're going to pick them off the vine, and you're going to see that you kind of have that little bit of a stem. I want you to cut that right to the base. Okay, as close as you possibly can. Mom's actually going to handle that for me. So you can see on all of them, they've got that little bitty tab. There you go, Ma. Okay, the stems are not uh, very tasty. No. I'm also going to add just a pinch of mint to this. Now, not everybody adds mint either, but mint is kind of a classic um, herb. If you don't like it, just add a tiny pinch. We're not crazy about mint, but there's certain dishes that I feel that just a little bit of mint needs to go in, and this is one of them. Yes. Tabbouleh being another, and kebabs being another. For me, anyway. 
All right, our leaves are ready, and Mum is slicing two nice little tomatoes as thinly as possible. Just take out that core and thin, thinly slice them. That's going to go on top of our donuts. So I have a baking dish ready. It's 9 by 13 inches, and I'm just going to um, put some olive oil in the bottom of this. And just cover the, coat the sides and the bottom just so things don't completely stick in here. Now, a lot of people steam their dolmas or they um, cook it in a pot on the stove and simmer them. I don't think it's necessary. This is how we do it, and you can do it any way you like, but this is how we're doing it. So I'm doing it in a, in a baking dish in the oven tonight. I'm going to show you how. Well, we've always done it that way, and we're quite satisfied with the yeah. way it turns out. Yes, ma'am. And it's less muss and fuss. I don't have to worry about things burning on the bottom. All right, so we try and cut down on salt. So I haven't added salt, as you can see, to anything yet because I want to be able to taste it and see, add just enough. I don't want to oversalt things. So my beef is done. It's nice and browned. And since it's lean, it didn't have any extra fat. I just have some of that olive oil, and that's good. That's going to go right in my rice. So combine this up. This is kind of eyeballing because you don't know how much you're really going to need. If you need a little extra rice, you think, just go ahead and add it. So go ahead and toss your mixture together with the rice and the beef and your spices. It's up to you the ratio of meat to rice that you like. Everybody does things differently. Different cultures do things differently. Um, whatever. So if you want to use much less meat and more rice, or if you just want to do rice and have them vegetarian, yeah. that works perfectly Some people fine. like to use just mostly rice and a few little dots of meat. That's right. And they're happy with that. That's, That's true. right. We're going to add a little bit of salt just preliminarily. And I'm going to freshly mince up a little bit of parsley here. That's going to also go into my citrus and herb donuts. You could use chives in here as well. You could use a little bit of thyme if you wanted to. Even sage if you really wanted yeah, to. Yeah, we have some fresh sage out in the garden. Yes, we do. It's good. beautiful. I'm going to go simple tonight though. Mm -hmm. We've got lots of herbs. You could even get adventurous and go with a different ethnic um, palette here. Mm -hmm. You could go with some cilantro and some chili peppers and you mm -hmm. know and make it a little bit more you know Latin. Whatever you feel like. Yes, the, the uh, grape leaves and the rice lend themselves to any additional mm -hmm. flavor. So easy, you want right? To concentrate on. Yeah. So easy. So whatever you have, or whatever you really like, or whatever you're growing a bunch of in your garden that you need to get rid of, this mm -hmm. is a really great way to use it. I'm going to use about a third of a lemon and just the juice of that, and that's going to go into this mixture as well. And the rest, one's going to slice as thinly as possible in nice little medallions, just like the tomato slices. And that's going to kind of go on the top as well. All right, so we're going to stir this all up, and we're going to do a taste test. It's so important to do a taste test and make sure that everything is on point, because there's no turning back once you've stuffed these guys. <laughs> Here you go, Mom. A little bit more salt for me. Mm. Lovely. And just a hint more of this really great spice from Napa Jacks. What do you think? A little bit more dill. Thank goodness for taste tests. Mm -hmm. Feel free to use fresh herbs or dried as, as needed, I guess. You know, sometimes you can't find that fresh stuff. It looks really nice at the grocer. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have our baking um, dish ready with the olive oil, and we're going to start rolling up these gorgeous dolmas. So what we're going to do is you're going to take one of the leaves, and I like to use the um, back on the inside because the outside looks so much prettier with that oh, dark yes. color. So you're going to fill the back side of the leaf, and you're just going to take yourself a um, a tablespoon, nice heaping tablespoon. These will not roll up as much mixture as you think. No. <laughs> um, not a, nearly as much as, say, a piece of cabbage because, look, it's much, much smaller, right? So you want to put it right into the center where that uh, stem came off. One heaping tablespoon or so. You want to fold the outside of the leaves in and then roll it kind of like a, a cigar, you know, and roll that all up nice and tight. And there you have it. It's kind of like a little roll, right? And 
hand, you're just going to repeat them with all the rest of your Greek leaves. If you need more, just go pick some more. Mm -hmm. I guess you'll see us when we're done. Then you're going to just line them up next to each other, nice and close, like little pigs in a blanket. And fill your whole tray. All right, so we have a whole um, baking dish full. They look beautiful. We have about 45 or 50 here. Okay, so this is just a good estimate to fill one of these baking dishes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top these guys with those tomatoes and work some lemons into there as well. Now, we had a couple extra, so we just made a second layer on the top, and that's no big deal. Do what you gotta do. So I'm doing like two slices of tomato and then a lemon. You can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to make it pretty. This gives a little bit extra moisture and a little bit extra flavor. Yeah, it keeps them from uh, drying out the leaves. That's right. Plus, you get all that nice flavor from the tomatoes and the lemons. That's right. Just enough. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just lovely. I'm just going to sprinkle with a little bit extra dry dill. Just on top of that. Mm. Citrus and herb, that's the point. <laughs> now, we have to add a little bit of liquid. Now, you can use water or you can use a little bit of water and wine or chicken broth or mm -hmm. beef broth or whatever you like. Today, we're going to use a little bit of wine. Maybe about a half of a cup. Maybe a third of a cup. Mm -hmm. Just drizzling that over. These need to still steam. Even though I'm not doing it in the pot on the stove, they still need to steam in here. And I'm going to add just a little bit of water, just like I did the wine. Mmm, that wine smells nice. Doesn't it, mm. though? And we're going to cover this whole thing with some Look aluminum. Look how gorgeous that is. It is. I'm going to show it to them. A little bit of aluminum foil you're going to cover that with. But you want to spray it to make sure that it's not going to stick to your food. Because mm -hmm. you sure are going to be mad. And with the shiny side facing in. Yes. So spray the shiny side. These are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's right. So that's what we have going on here. You can do any kind of pattern you like, but that sure does look pretty. And it's mm -hmm. going to look nice coming to the table. Yes, you could take that right from the oven to the table and serve it like that. Absolutely. So cover that up. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And we're going to let these guys go for about 30 minutes, I would say. And we're going to take a chip, take a look at them. Everything inside them is cooked, the rice and the beef. So really what we're doing is tenderizing up those leaves. Mm -hmm. Especially since they're the fresh ones. Yeah, they should get tender fairly quickly. Mm. They're so nice and moist. I and think fresh. so. So cover that and make sure it's nice and tight. Into the oven it goes. I think the dolmas are done. Mm. Now, it's been 40 minutes. I let them go an extra 10 minutes just to make sure, and we were making a dinner, um, a dessert, fruit salad. So make sure you check out the recipe for Asian fruit salad. It's going to be really tasty. So let's take off the foil, and they look oh, gorgeous. Now, you can poke them to see if it's going to be tender, but, I mean, you can tell by looking at the leaves that they're tender. Yes. It's been steaming in here for a good 40 minutes. Um, you can see that there's probably still liquid in the bottom. Mm -hmm. You don't want to run out of liquid, so make sure you add enough. Now it looks gorgeous as is, um, but if you're going to use this to uh, present at the table, you might want to broil the top just a little bit just to make it a little more appetizing, give a little bit of charred bits, brown bits. That's what it looks like right now. It looks awesome. But into under the broiler, just for a couple minutes, just to get it just a little bit going, okay? All right. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have going on. That's our our beautiful roasting dish of dolmas. Beautiful, with the tomatoes and the lemons on the top. They're a little bit charred from the broiling. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, mommy. Yes, they are beautiful. 
So we're going to do a quick taste test for you because we can't wait to eat. That's right. <laughs> it smells so good. That's right. Now, I'm going to serve this alongside with the um, tomatoes and the lemons that are on top. You can also serve it with extra wedges of lemon because mm -hmm. some people might like that. You can serve it with um, a plain yogurt or with sour cream. We're serving it with a plain yogurt tonight. So let's get it going. Here you go, Mommy. Here's a couple. I just love it when uh, spring rolls around like this mm -hmm. and we can use our own fresh grape leaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, so awesome. So just, I'm serving, I can't wait to eat this. Oh. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Mm. The grape leaves are perfectly tender. What great flavor. Mm. The uh, mixture inside, so good. Mmm. Mmm hint of mint just the hint it's just perfect like you wouldn't even be able to really pinpoint that that's mint but it really rounds it out the flavors everything up too. Mm -hmm. oh that's good mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. perfect with the plain yogurt mm -hmm. mm. I really taste the citrus coming through mm -hmm. from the herbs and that's the whole point was the citrus and the herb you have that fresh citrus, those fresh herbs, and you've got that great base of flavor from mm -hmm. the Napa Jack Citrus Herb Rub. That's what it looks like. Make sure you check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. There's the, there's the container. Um, gorgeous stuff. Every spice rub I've ever tried from them has been absolutely Wonderful. outstanding. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. And I like the little lemon with it. Yeah, I like the lemon and the tomato. It's not very nice. Mm -hmm. And they've really maintained their shape beautifully. I have sour cream on, but look, it's still rolled up perfectly. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. What a lovely dinner. Absolutely. Mm. And you know, some people like to eat these cold. Mmm, I do. I love them cold. They're a really great snack cold. So, you could serve them as an appetizer cold. Or even like a finger food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like finger food, mm -hmm. right? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Lovely. Those are amazing. Well, I'm ready to serve everybody. <laughs> these are awesome. The, the grape leaves, there's nothing like them. Mm. Um, I've used nasturtium leaves and they work pretty well too, but the grape leaves, they just have that flavor. That really signature, authentic flavor for Dolma. Lovely. Citrus uh, just wakes everything up and keeps everything nice and light. It doesn't taste like a heavy dish at all. What a lovely entree. And you know, if someone's trying to kind of lose some weight, I mean, you can get away with that, absolutely. Using the olive oil instead of butter and um, in the rice, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. stuff. That was so good. Kim. I'm so glad you like it. So happy spring, everybody. I hope that you try them out. Again, you can get these grape leaves also pickled and things like that in your grocer or right. your fine food Jelly. market. Yeah, yeah deli. So that's it. That's how you make them. That's how you cook citrus and herb doma. There you go. Love this. Try them. They're not that hard, okay? They look like they're really complicated, but it's really not. Oh, they're so, so good. I'm enjoying them a oh. lot. Make sure you check out Mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. <laughs>